Rachel and Arnolfo, you are the focus of this day today. You both look absolutely fantastic. What do you all think? Rachel and I first crossed paths at a school event about 10 years ago. When I first saw her, I thought she had beautiful eyes, a nice smile, and radiant skin. I did not make much of it at the time, but I'm glad I gave her a second look a couple of months after. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know where I'd be in life now. Rachel. That magical summer when we fell in love, spending every single day together for over 400 days straight. That was when true love was built. As I look at you now, one thing is certain. I love every part of you, your flaws, your imperfections. They are what make you perfectly beautifully you. Arnolfo. You came into my life out of nowhere when I wasn't looking for anything and swooped me off my feet. It wasn't anything grand or dramatic, but it was monumental to me. It was knowing you'd text me within an hour of leaving our hangout because I had to be home early. It was making sure we saw each other every day even though it was just for a few minutes. I knew what was happening the more time I spent with you. Falling in love with you was so easy. It's like taking a breath of fresh air or wrapping yourself in a warm blanket. Loving you is like coming home. You are my home. He and I have been through a lot together as well, from laughing together in San Francisco to grieving together at his mom and my dad's passing. I'm thankful to get to know how much of a great guy Arnolfo truly is, and I know Rachel is in the best hands with him at her side. I've seen it time and again how much he loves and cares for her, even if it's stressful on Rachel's part, like the planning of this wedding. It's so clear that it's because his intentions are pure and true. Rachel demonstrates her love and devotion every day, but I especially want to highlight what she did for me when my mother was ill. She helped me take care of my mother when she was in the hospital. She never left my side when things got difficult and stayed with me throughout the whole ordeal. Most people don't know that she was actually the last person my mom saw before she passed away. And now today, I'm marrying her. I've never known someone so selfless, caring, patient, and so incredibly loving as you, Arnolfo. You've always put me first and taken care of me. You've only wanted what's best for me, even though I might not like the process. You're my biggest supporter, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. As we look to the future, I see us creating a home filled with love, happiness, respect, and light. There is no limit to what I want to give to you. Asking you to marry me was the best decision of my life. Meeting you was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And even when this world is a forgotten whisper or dust between the stars, I will always love you. I vow to be your ally, your problem solver, and your navigator on this journey we call life. You will never face this world alone. I love you today, tomorrow, this life, and next, forever. I love you. It is my great honor and privilege to officially pronounce you husband and wife Arnolfo. You may kiss your bride. So let us 
praise our glass to Rachel and our Rufo. May their love continue to flourish and bring you joy to those around them. May they always remember the reason they fell in love and never forget to laughter and tears and the dance parties that bought them here today. Cheers! Cheers! Uh, yeah, cheers! In 2014, during the heat of our bromance, our novels started to bring a plus one to our dates. I must admit, I was a little worried at first. One of the first times we hung out together, uh, Rachel was teaching me and Arnofo how to smoke hookah out of the trunk of her car. But it turns out, Rachel, you are nothing like me. While choosing me as best man was Arnofo's second best decision in life, choosing you, Rachel, is by far his first. vow to always love you in all of your best days and love you harder on your tough ones. I will love you fiercely, solely and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I will always be by your side, loving you more every day. You've been an amazing partner these past years and you're going to be an incredible husband and father to our children one day. God knows you're already one to our dog babies. I love you so incredibly much. I cannot further describe how excited I am to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you so much. privilege of watching both of your love for each other grow and shape you into the beautiful couple you guys are today. Thank you, Rachel, for taking my best friend, one of the most talented, unique, and brilliant-minded people I know, and loving him for who he is. Here's to a lifetime of love, wealth, happiness. I love you both, and I can't wait to meet my niece or nephew in nine months. To the bride and groom! Hey, here, cheers! Cheers!